In this video I'm giving you all the tips and tricks to successfully construct this Piper gas station kit. Free download link is in the description. I recommend printing this kit on anything from 160 to 240 GSM Piper. Also this is 3 pages, so listening to some music is recommended. Now finally, start by roughly cutting out all the big parts, like this. It makes it a bit easier to score all the dotted lines. You need to do this to allow the glue flaps to fold easily. By the way, you can use the YouTube chapters to find specific parts in the video. Once you have scored along all the dotted lines of all the parts on page 1, you can start by precisely cutting it out. When cutting out the openings for the window and door, make sure you have a new sharp bobby knife blade. And just take your time and make sure you don't screw this up. Then, just continue cutting out all the parts. The window and door is probably one of the most difficult parts of this kit. But it's not that hard, you can do it, I believe in you. <laughs> Again, just make sure to use a sharp new hobby knife blade. Once you are done cutting out the frames, you need some clear plastic. You can easily find some from clear package. You can easily find some from clear packaging material. Now cut out the shapes of the window and door. Then apply glue to the back of the frames like this and simply drop the plastic on. I remove the unwanted glue with a damp paintbrush and then I wipe it clean with a paper towel. Once the glue has had some time to dry, I glue them in place. Also make sure to weigh it down as the glue dries. After about 30 minutes, the glue should be dry enough to continue. Now before we can continue with the building, we need to do the interior first. This is quite straightforward, but the shopping racks are a bit fiddly to do. If you like the video so far, please give the video a like so it can spread to more people. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. You can glue them in in any place you want. This is how I glued mine in. If you want to add people inside, you should do it now. Anyway, next glue the interior to the floor plan like this, making sure the cutout for the door is in the right place. Then I start gluing the walls on. I test fit many pieces before gluing, just to get a better understanding of how it should be glued in. And to finish this building, just glue on the roof. Then we can move on to page 2. Page 2 is definitely the easiest part of this kit. Just score along all the dotted lines and cut out all the parts the same as you did with page 1. Then first glue the walls to the floor plan and then glue the roof close. 
by the way please let me know are you watching this video as instructions for the kit or just for entertainment Now before gluing the roof on, glue the buildings together like so. It's just to make sure the roof is in the right position. And that's page 2 done. Now let's move on to the fun stuff, page 3. This may seem really confusing, but I'll explain as we go. This part I'm cutting out now is the main structure for the roof. It will not be visible because this part will go over it like so. This will be glued onto some cardboard, but for now just put it aside. For now just continue and score along all the fold lines. Once done you can cut it out. As for the roof pillars, just slap them like this and it's done. <laughs> Editing magic. No, but really, they are not that hard to put together, just fiddly and time consuming. Next, glue these to some cardboard and let the glue dry. Then cut them out and cut in these notches to allow them to slot into each other like this. Now let's get back to this part. Fold and glue to create a sort of box shape like this. Next glue in the cardboard supports. You may need to cut some of them to get a good fit. Also if you are actually gonna build this kit, if you want you can send me some photos on Instagram or Discord. Links are in the description. Once done, add glue to the top of the cardboard to glue on the roof. Also make sure to weigh down as the glue dries, but don't use stuff that's too heavy for the paper. Now make sure to, as I call it, pre-fold everything that needs to be folded. It's basically just folding everything and then flattening it out again. Once done, I also weigh down for some time as the glue dries. Now let's glue on the pillars. I use the template to apply the glue, then place them in position. I also use the template to make sure they are glued on straight. This is the first kit like this I've done, so please let me know in the comments what do you think. By the way, I'm also working on some extra details like petrol pumps. I'll also be making a diorama for this kit, so if you are interested, be sure to subscribe for that video. If this kit looked a bit too hard for you and you maybe want to try something easier first, then this video is for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.